for an expensive but earth-loving green product. It's expensive, but in the long run, the savings will be huge. Really? You know, we've noticed that no one has ever questioned that claim until now. I will next. But first, on anything green, the savings, right? Like the solar panels. Here's the typical claim. You'll save 50% on your electric bill. That's great. Let me get out the green calculator. You know, the one that's powered by solar energy. The average electric bill in America is roughly $100 a month. A solar panel installation on a typical single family home costs between 30 and 40,000. Okay, 50% savings on $100 a month is $50 a month. That's $600 a year. That takes you 58 years to break even. But wait, there's even more. The average lifespan of a solar panel is 20 to 30 years. So you'll have to buy another one at the halfway point on the path of breaking even. What a deal. How about electric cars? Same pitch, expensive, but the savings. You'll save so much money in gas. Yeah, not so much. A new study out now shows that you're not gonna even make back the extra money you spent unless there is a major breakthrough in battery technology. As a result, the payback time for all electric vehicles in the U.S. is about 15 years. For an extended range vehicle such as the uh, Chevy Volt, it's 19 years. Have you ever owned a car for 19 years? I mean, how many 1981 models do you see out there on the road? How about the hybrids? The cars are supposedly going to help, uh, you know, get us off of oil. Well, even under high growth assumptions where hybrids would be a third of all new car sales, think of that, has to be a third of all new car sales, savings would be 200,000 barrels of oil every day or 1% of the nation's current oil demand. Wow, that's tempting, sure. Whether it's the dream of cutting back 1% on our oil or the luxury of breaking even after, you know, 60 years. Just remember, you'll always feel good when you go green. But that's about all you get out of it.